Wake Up Mid Journey just released one of its most requested features, consistent characters. Do you want to make images like these with the same character in each scene? Maybe a trip through New York, maybe a trip to Egypt, and maybe a cartoon. There is a lot to go through, so why don't we start with just how to trigger this new feature. First, you're going to need a character. You're going to need a face that you want to see in future generations. I'd like to introduce you to Eliza. She came from the prompt, a beautiful woman in a Victorian dress with pearls and diamonds, Lace details, tiara, blue eyes in the style of cinematic. This is S400 style rock. Now we can type our prompt. We can imagine really any new scene. It doesn't really matter. But if we want to see Eliza appear in the generation, here's what we have to do. Type dash dash C R E F into the prompt. C ref character reference. Then what you can do is simply click on the picture and drag it into the prompt box. Make sure there is a space between CREF and your image link. And then if you hit enter, you'll get something like these. There it is. There's our character. There's Eliza. How amazing is this? How much fun is this going to be? How many opportunities does this open up for you? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Please let me know how you plan on using consistent characters. There are some things you need to know about this feature though, mainly that it isn't perfect right now at least. If you notice our character's still wearing her traditional lace Victorian gown, even though we didn't specify that in the prompt. And that might be a problem for you, especially because it's not the exact same outfit she was wearing. That's sort of the main thing that this feature cannot accomplish right now. So in order to get around that, Mid Journey actually provided a new parameter that we can use. Dash dash CW. That stands for character weight. We can use a value between 0 and 100 to influence the weight of our reference picture. And that might be a little frustrating to remember, considering how... <laughs> Different parameters have different range values. Character weight is 0 to 100. You might also notice that our character link was shortened once we generated. That's going to be important because now we can just use the shortened link rather than that big long one before. So I'm actually going to highlight this and copy it to my clipboard. And then here's like the biggest tip I have for you. This is going to save you so much time. I'll make sure I go slow and explain everything. What we're going to do is we're going to take that image link, our reference picture for Eliza, and we're going to set it as a shortcut so that we only have to input the shortcut in our prompt rather than that image link every time. Let me show you. On Discord, you're going to type prefer option set into the prompt box. When you click on it, you'll now need to click here at plus one more. That will bring up value. Click on that. Now we have two boxes down here to enter information. In value, I'm going to paste our image link. That's the link to our character. And then under option, that's going to be the name of our shortcut. You can call your shortcuts whatever you want. Whatever will help you remember so that you can trigger this character. I'm going with Eliza1. When I hit enter, we'll now see that Eliza1 was set to that image link. Now, when I type a prompt, something like Grand Theft Auto loading screen, stylized 300, style raw, chaos 7, all I need to do is type in dash dash C R E F. I'm going to leave a space. That's really important. Now I'm going to type my shortcut Eliza one. Watch this. When I hit enter, our prompt is going to get expanded. Our shortcut will open up into our image link. Isn't that incredible? Oh my God. I get goosebumps just looking at this now. It's going to save you so much time the most time. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Nolan and it really is my goal to make learning all of this as straightforward as possible. So if you've learned something new so far, please consider hitting the like button so that we could share it with more people. And if you want to learn more, I am so happy to announce that I have finished my online mid journey beginner course. I don't think you would believe how hard I've been working on it. That's why my channel has been a little less active than normal, but I'm happy to say it's finally done. There is like 37 or 38 chapters available online right now, and I'm going to update this course as mid journey continues to update their service. And I want to let you know that the price you see right now is a special introductory first week offer. As I continue to update the course, the price is going to increase accordingly. I wanted to let you know now so that if you are interested, you can get in when it's the best deal possible. You can find the link to the course in the description below. Back to our generation. Look at, oh my, look at the, isn't that so cool? Isn't this so much fun? 
I like number two, but three is also a good time. But again, I bet you're noticing the Victorian outfit, and I mentioned the character weight before, so let's include that in our next prompt. We're going to use that exact same prompt, except this time we're going to use a character weight of zero. By default, your character weight is 100. And when it's at 100, Mid Journey is going to try to include every detail that's in your picture. That includes clothing and accessories. But it's not very good at it, so I don't know if you're really going to want that. When you change the character weight to zero, Mid Journey is going to try to only focus on the character's face. Here are the results. You'll notice that Eliza does appear in number one and number four, but the other two are not that great. So instead, you can include a little trigger word in your prompt, like a woman, Grand Theft Auto loading screen, and here are the results. This is amazing. Like I said at the start, there is a lot to go over, a lot of different options you have with this. Let me talk about something you're probably wondering. Can I use this with my own face? Quick answer, no. No, you can't. It's not going to work how you think it'll work. I uploaded a picture of my ugly mug to Discord. Then I ran some different prompts like the king of the world fauvism style and just look at this. That's not, that's not me. The team at Mid Journey did warn us about this though. Character reference really only works good with native Mid Journey images. But they did say that if you're going to use an outside picture, it's going to act similar to an image prompt. And that's certainly what's happening here. I also tried oil painting, it didn't work, and I tried stained glass. Maybe all bald guys look alike, but I don't think that's me. And here's another fun thing that you're going to want to try. You can combine character reference with style reference and it works amazing. Like here, I generated a picture of a vibrant graphic novel at Stylize 40 and I love these colors, I love this result. I wanted to see how Eliza would look in this style. We could start by typing a prompt like a woman fighting off an alien invasion. I really don't know if this is gonna work out, but what we would do is type dash dash S R E F, hit the space bar, then we can drag our style reference image into the prompt. By the way, if you don't wanna click and drag your images, you can click on the image once, right click, and hit copy image address. Now you can paste that link into the prompt box. After your style reference, you're gonna hit a space. Now we want a character reference, dash dash C R E F space. I'm gonna type my shortcut Eliza one. I wanna bump up the style weight because I really wanna see the look of this picture. So I'm gonna use dash dash S W style weight space, and then a value between zero and 1000. Like I said, I wanted it higher. So I'm going with a thousand. But I also don't want Eliza's Victorian look to influence the generation. So I'm gonna put dash dash CW character weight to zero. That means it's only going to focus on her face. And when I hit enter, we are gonna run our prompt. And surprise, Mid Journey came out with another new feature recently. Take a look at turbo mode. Look how fast this goes. It's incredible, right? It's like 3.5 times faster. It is more expensive, about twice as much, but we can get results like these really quickly. Now, I will say that this whole character reference and style reference thing, as you can see, the prompt didn't really come through. We really don't see a woman fighting off an alien invasion. I told you this feature isn't perfect, but these are the type of things you can expect in the future. And please let me know if I messed up with my prompt. Is there something I'm missing? Should I not be specifying a woman? Will the character reference do enough? I don't know. Play around with it and let me know what you find. Lastly, I want to show you how you can create your own photo shoots really quickly with this feature. Let me introduce you to Chicago Kelly. I found her when I created Polaroid of an Instagram model AR 1x1 and I use Stylize 400 Chaos 4. In order to get our character Kelly Chicago in an easy photo shoot, what you're going to do is type a prompt. Here I have again portrait of an Instagram model. We're going to use a comma, space, and then an open squiggly bracket. And now we want to type in a bunch of different aesthetics like chibi, chic modernist, old Hollywood film noir, constructivism, data bending collage. Once you write the aesthetics that you want to see, you're going to close it with a squiggly bracket. Then I'm going to include the word style. Now we want to hit dash dash C R E F, and then we're going to click and drag our character into the prompt box. Now don't forget to include your other parameters like dash dash A R one by one, whatever you want. And absolutely do not forget to use a character weight dash dash C W of zero. And we'll let the bot put our character in different outfits to match the scene. When we hit enter, Mid Journey is going to ask if we're sure about this, and that's because we created permutations. 
If you don't know what you did, you can click show prompts and that should show you a list of what you were about to create. It'll look something like this. I don't know why it's not working right now. Nonetheless, you'll hit yes. And then here we go. We have a photo shoot of Kelly Chicago. This is going to be so much fun. Film noir. I like those. Old Hollywood, pretty similar to film noir. Constructivism style, one of my favorites. You get these cool glitchy effects. Chic modernist, okay, I like number two. I like number one a lot. And then data bending collage, same sort of idea as constructivism. Okay, before I go, let me show you how to do this on the Mid Journey website. First, let's find a character. Why don't we use this alien? Sure. What you're going to do is literally click on the picture and drag it into the prompt box. Now you've established that you want to use this picture in your prompt but you do have three additional options. When you hover over the picture, you'll see your three options. This one on the right is for just an image prompt. The one in the middle is for a style reference, and that's not what we want. We want the one on the left, we want this to appear as a character reference. Now we can type whatever else we want in the prompt. I don't really know what to type here. Let's go with a new police captain. Right now on the website, we don't have access to all the different parameter values that you might want. So what you could do is still just type them in your prompt, like dash dash CW zero. That isn't what I want right now. I kind of want to see it at the default. So I'm going to erase that and it will generate at character weight of 100. When I hit enter, I can find it on the create page. And there we go. There's our character. There's our alien, the new police captain. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you have a lot of fun with this character reference. Don't forget to check out my Mid Journey Beginner course. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.